All right, now I'm ready. Alrighty, um, so today I'm gonna do a quick review video of these Sykra hand guards. I've been running this set for like the last three years, gone through multiple sets of plastics, and I just decided that I was going to upgrade, well, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's actually a downgrade, but I'm going to install a new pair because these have finally gotten so beaten up to the point where, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of going through everything and making it new again, so it kind of felt bad putting these ugly wraparound guards on there. They've been absolutely great for me, and like, I probably know a dozen other people that run these in kind of our close riding group. So I've had the opportunity to see just what they can go through. Um, you know, the absolute sends that you can send these things off of and smashing them on rocks and whatnot. And they always seem to, you know, they, they keep your levers protected, they keep your hands protected. And as you can see, these have a lot of miles on them. Uh, I do have a couple of thoughts. So there's two different versions of these if you go to buy Sykra hand guards. And there's, so these are the HCM versions, which means that they come with these mounts that mount to your, your bar mounts, the top of your bar mounts. So they've replaced the caps on top of your bar mounts, right? And then they mount like that. I really like these. When I first went to get these, this is what I wanted because as opposed to these, right? These have the wrap around, these wrap around your handlebars and they have a tendency to rotate down, right? So if you drop them, the, the entire hand guard will rotate um, facing down. You have to smack them back up again. Well, with these mounts, uh, since they are bolted and they can't rotate, they keep the hand guards from rotating down. Uh, what happened over, I don't know, in the course of the last three years, it's this one, is it actually bent the whole thing here at this point. Like you can actually see the stress, stress marks right here it bent the whole thing down. So this one was always kind of a little bit droopy, uh, which was fine. I mean, it still protected my hands, but it just kind of looked dumb because it like looked like it was lopsided a little bit. Like, like when you, it looks like how it looks like when your handlebars are tweaked, but you just can't quite like get it right again. And no matter how much I beat up on this thing, I can never get it to kind of get right again. And the other thing about the HCM versions um, is that they only come with these vented hand guards. So you'll notice in this one, the CRM version, they come with these solid hand guards. And you can't buy solid hand guard um, plastics for these. The reason I don't like these vented ones is you can see they break almost as soon as you put them on the bike. And I mean, your bike will go from like looking slick with some new plastics on it and you drop it once and then all these vents are broken. I guess this one's lasted a little bit longer, but it really doesn't take long. And I've gone through numerous sets of these plastics and they, they just don't last. Um, which is why I decided to go with the CRM version, which is a, I don't know, it's like they're not quite so good version, but I think it's better. I mean, they're both pro bend. The difference and the reason why you can't change them is that this, bar has these wide sections in it where you go to um, screw the plastics on and this one does not have that right so the plastics are made for that to cut out around these wide sections um, and the solid plastics aren't so that's really annoying i think if um, Sykra made solid plastics for these hcm versions i'd like that a lot more but since i don't i'm actually spending less money uh, on these crm versions the only thing that I would like is, I mean, I, like, I already own a pair of these, uh, and if I was running these on a pair of standard bars, which I'm not, I'm running these on the flex bars, but if I was running these on a pair of standard bars, I'd absolutely want these bar mounts uh, because it, they're gonna help um, keep the, the guards from rotating down um, when you drop the bike. I love them, I think they're great, great uh, hand guards. I ride mostly enduro, uh, so for me, I'm like not taking huge jumps. I'm not on a motocross track very often. So I don't really think about the other side of that where maybe you take a big jump and your, your hands go through and you break a wrist or something like that. That's not really a concern I have. Um, 
So I like the wraparound guards. They keep your bars nice, or at least nicer than they would be. They save your hands, they save your levers, they save all of your bar equipment. So I would absolutely run these if you're, especially if you're running enduro. Check these out. There are a line of uh, helmet chin mounts that we make for a variety of different helmets. We've got like 60 or 70 of them up on our store right now. But they're all helmet specific. They're for GoPros and other action cameras, and they allow you to get that perfect point of view on the terrain that you're riding on. A uh, ton of details about that, but I'll put the link in the description below, as well as links to all these for Amazon if you're looking for that. Check them out. Also check out our social channels uh, on Instagram and a bunch of other places. So check that out. We'll add links in the description below and see you on the trail.